and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to change the lock screen information that's on a Samsung Galaxy running the current version of One UI, which is 6.1 on Android 14. And we're going to take a look at what you can add to your lock screen, but in particular, what we wanted to do was to change the contact information that's available at the bottom. And you might ask, why would you put contact information on your phone? Simple. You're going to lose your phone at some point, or misplace it at very least. And when you do, you will probably want the honest person that picks up the phone to call you and say, Hey, I've got your phone. Come get it. Yes, the odd scumbag will steal it. Most people will return it. I would certainly return your phone. You would return my phone, blah, blah, blah. So what you used to do is just go into settings and go to edit lock screen. That's not there anymore, which is kind of annoying. What you have to do now is get to it through one of three sort of back doors. So let's show you the lock screen first. And the way you do that is take your phone and press and hold, which gets you into edit mode. And then at the bottom, click on wallpapers and style. There we go. Then click on the lock screen, which is right there. Now you can see here we can add a wall, we can change wallpapers, we can add widgets. Um, we you can see the notification bar here, but in particular, I wanted to change the contact information. So that is how you do it. You click on contact information and then change whatever you would like. I'm going to click done. So that's one way. That's probably your shortest, easiest way to go. We'll show you the two other ways just because you're here. Why not? So the first thing you want to do is get back to the home screen. Now let's show you where it used to be and you'll think, well, it's not there anymore. Yeah, it is. It's just they put a back door in. So what you have to do is swipe down from the top to get into your settings, click on the cog, then scroll until you see what's now called lock screen and AOD, which is always on display. Then click on lock screen and always on display. And th there used to be a lovely setting in here where you could obviously make the changes we just did. They're not there. However, if you go to the bottom, you'll see that there's this link to edit lock screen. And what a shock, that takes you right to where we were before, which is wonderful, but certainly not obvious. I'll click done and let's show you the last way to get into this. Go back home to start from scratch, then swipe down from the very top and choose the cog in the top right hand corner and scroll down to wallpapers and style. Tap on that and bingo, you're back in the same place. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them uh, down below, or you can get a hold of us directly at www.urteth.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.